Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. This is a test of the Panasonic FZ300 with my studio setup with the full lighting on a green screen. So this is 4K on the Panasonic FZ300. Now remember, you can do full manual video on the FZ300, which is pretty impressive for an inexpensive inexpensive ultra zoom and uh, I've got it set at f2.8 I believe ISO 400 actually I can probably see right here on the iPad and 1 30th of a second because we are at 4k uh, 30p so looks uh, should look pretty good actually I've been really really impressed with the quality coming out of the 4k I just shot the uh, Saratoga Swamp Monster a little uh, fun fictional video story I did a couple videos ago you can check it out uh, that was all done with the FZ300 and the onboard mics so all done with the FZ300 and I also shot the uh, little video of the raccoon on top of the telephone pole that I saw when I was driving down the road which was really interesting and it was good that I had the FZ300 because the 600 mil uh, lens was great to be able to zoom in granted even the p900 with its longer lens would have been really good to get right in on it but the FZ300 worked very nicely for that so I was very thankful to have that but overall what really hit me was having done quite a bit of video with it lately the video is really really good and that's a small, I think it's one two-thirds inch sensor. Just a small sensor in there. But the combination of the F2.8 lens, and I believe it's what, a Leica F2.8 lens. Um, fantastic image quality from that lens. And the image quality of the video itself, like the codex and whatnot, is really decent. So I thought, hey, let's do a studio setup and let's see how the green screen looks. So um, I'll be seeing this basically almost when you do because I'm going to process it and then I'm going to throw it up so you can see what the uh, Panasonic FZ300 4K video looks like from a green screen test. And then I always actually down res it when I'm saving it and exporting it in, um, not down res it, I should say. It's still 4K, but I, I, I save it at a more compressed file for upload to YouTube and I, I bet you it's still going to look really good. I don't think I want this camera to go back to Panasonic. I think I'm going to have to buy my own because what a fantastic all-round camera for everything. It does really good image quality. It's actually surprisingly good and even dim lighting. The white balance, auto white balance is fantastic. Everything just seems great because it is such a small sensor. It'll follow you around while you're doing video very nicely. It's just it seems to be perhaps one of the best values, perhaps the best 4K camera value out there right now. So anyways, we're going to do this test. We're going to see what the green screen looks like, um, what the footage looks like here. And um, this is going to be obviously my AT2020 audio. So I'm not using the audio from here, but I want to see what the video footage looks like. So we'll try it out, see what happens. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you have any questions about the FZ300, leave them below. See if I can get them answered for you. If not, I can see a Panasonic will answer them for you. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.